Ness Educators Group Ghana is threatening to withdraw its services in the coming month should government fail to improve its working conditions. The natural chairman of the group, Matthew Ademu Bakinam, says they are confronted by several challenges, including delays in book and research allowances, perennial delays in promotions and conventions, as well as poor working environment. The group called on the Ministry of Health to push for their concerns to be addressed. Correspondent Peter Seno has more in this report. Educators Group's annual general meeting and scientific sessions on the theme updating the skills of nurse and midwife educators towards the tertiary status attainment of health training institutions brought together members across Ghana and other stakeholders in the health ecosystem. The meeting was also a preparatory ground as the Ministry of Health intends to bring all health training institutions to a tertiary status by 2023. Dr. Bafo Wua, who represented the health minister, said the onus is on members to collaborate to achieve a successful transition. There is a need to assess qualification of current tutors to ascertain the different needs for the upgrade. Transitioning to become a tertiary institution or tertiary status, we need to collaborate a lot. How many of us even know how to write for grants to do research? So, principals should by now begin to bring our tutors together and position ourselves how to write grants. At the governmental level, the Ministry of Health and Education are engaging to discuss which ministry will hold, should hold the I mean, tertiary status. The General Secretary of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, David Tinkrain Tum, bemoaned the everyday issue of no money to effectively run the health institutions. The usual rhetoric of there is no money for this or for that is quite familiar with educators. It is our opinion that the internet generated funds should be left within the schools to help them adequately cater for the needs of students and teachers and also develop infrastructure and work environment for the good of the nation. Nice middle -life educators therefore require investment in their continuous professional development. The national chairman of the Nurse Educators Group Ghana, Matthew Ademu Bakinam, said sitting and concerned about their condition of service in the current economic hardship is unacceptable to the members. He therefore called on the Ministry of Health to act before the end of August 2022. We are still confronted with several challenges that need our collective effort to address them. These challenges include the perennial delays in the promotions and conventions, book and research allowances, low rate for research supervision, practical assessment or examination for students, and uh, marking allowances. And more importantly is the uncertainty surrounding the migration of health training institutions to tertiary status. Most of our members are unhappy about our working conditions and are running out of patience. If Minister of Health, Koheti, as well as other stakeholders fail to resolve our long-standing concerns before school reopens in August 2022, leadership may not find it, may find it difficult to control our members. Precious Semevo, Joy News, Esufufu, Sunyane. Now, the National Chairman of Nurse Educators Group Ghana, Matthew Ademu Bakinam, joins us live with more. Good morning, sir, and thanks very much for your time. Now, we've had some of your concerns about, uh, but have you tried dialoguing with government over these concerns? Good morning, and good morning to your listeners and all nurse educators across the country. Mm. We have a lot of challenges. We've tried our best to our mother association, Ghana mm -hmm. Registered Nurses Association. Okay. Our hardworking Madame Perpetual Ofori went to the negotiation table to negotiate. Ms. Abakinam, looks like we are, we are losing for, you there. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yes. Good. So we're expecting that at least by February this year, we're supposed to receive the research and book allowance. 
that did not happen. But notwithstanding, we have long standing issues that we've been appealing to the ministry uh, to come to our aid. A major among them is our allowances or conditions mm -hmm. of services. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, our marking allowance, it's nothing to write home about. Then we have some to call case study supervision. We have uh, practical assessment supervision. Some, most of our members across the country, if I take case study, for instance, follow patients to the hospital, sleep there, monitor them, take them through the care plan. At the end of the day, what you are remunerated, if I mention to you, you'll be sure. Mm. In addition to that, we also supervise research work of students. And at the end of the day, what we receive is a problem. If I mention to you, you will not be happy. So what we have done so far is to work to our mother association, mm -hmm. uh, Ghana Registered Nurses Association, uh, through them, our hardworking madam, the Petrol Fury, and uh, we were able to visit the HR. We had a lot of discussions about this, but it's delaying. Mm. So if I want to take you through our promotions, at times you work for, for a number of years and you are due for promotion, promotion will not come and members will be agitating as if the leaders and the government are in bed, which is not so. So what we are saying is that come August school be reopening, we, we are open to dialogue, we are ready to negotiate. We know government is a listening government, they should come to our aid and let's sit down. We know that strike is not the best for the nation. This is the country that we have, but we are working towards that deadline, hoping the government will come into our aid to mm. salvage the poor condition of our service. But, but what has been the reaction of government uh, since you, you put forth your, your, your concerns? Interestingly, some we've put into writing through the, our Jeremy. Up to now, we haven't received any feedback about review of marking allowances that would be, uh, we asked them to do. When you mark the script, there's a fee that is attached to it that you have to enjoy or take home. And then we have something called monitoring. If a tutor leaves a facility into the field, students will send to the various hospitals as far as to other regions will follow. We want to have a permanent allowances that should be attached that if a tutor leaves a place to another facility, let's say from Kumasi to Accra, to monitor students on clinical or clinical supervision, this is the amount that a tutor is due. And then we have other members of our colleagues who are occupying serious positions in the school and they are contributing their best for the continuous development of uh, nursing training and nursing uh, practice in Ghana, like we have academic officers. Well, well, but but, but, but in, in the conditions of service that you signed on to, what was the exact thing they put in there that you agreed to, but, but, you know, to go by? But it was just implementation of the research and book allowance component that was really captured. And if you look at that, we, that was, you know, health sector is very broad. What pertained to nurse educators was this research and book allowances. Mm -hmm. And we have compiled the lists through the principals across the country, and we are waiting for response and implementation, and it is drying. It is not coming, forthcoming. So what we are saying is that government should implement now. You are going to, you are not, we don't know how much will be taken for the research and book allowance. And you are migrating the schools to tertiary status. What is in there for a tutor? The uncertainty surrounding this whole controversy is about what a tutor is about or supposed to take if we are converted or moved to tertiary status. If we want to know what is in that research and book allowance for us, what plans are they having for us as tutors? Job re-evaluation, where are we going to be called tutors or nurse educators, or you're going to be called lecturers? Let's sit down as uh, stakeholders and negotiate. What is the job plan, the roadmap? How are we going to do it? If we are migrating the schools 2023, in 2023, all nursing training colleges should be awarding degrees. Then what is the plan for the human resource? We mm -hmm. are going to work. We are in the We will implement whatever decisions ministry will come. So involve us and let's sit down. Come out with the river evaluation. A lecturer, um, a nursing training college, our degree award institution. These are the things that you'll be taking home. 
This is all that we are asking for. Okay. Uh, are you contemplating a strike if nothing is done by the time school reopen? Thank you so much. Yesterday, thank God we had some gentlemen around that came around. Mr. Felicimiento of Registrar, NMC, he really spoke well. And the uh, government represent representative and uh, special advisor to the Minister of Health, Dr. Bafoya, he appealed to us to become, he was going to meet the ministry, give us feedback as soon as possible. But I can assure you that uh, our members are not happy, we are not happy, and we are waiting to get a feedback. If you don't get a feedback, will, are you contemplating a strike by the time school reopen? Thank you very much. What we intend no, to I, I, I need, I I need a yes or no for this. Are you contemplating it? No, let me. We will start to withdraw all of uh, our services, but we will, we will continue to teach, but we will not mark the case study. We will not supervise students on clinicals until government comes to our aid. Thank we you very much. want negotiation. We are ready to the listen. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. He is uh, the chairman of the NES Educators Group, Ghana.